Good day everyone, my name is Kirby Rosas. I am a second year nursing student from Bicol University, Polangi Campus. And today I would be demonstrating the Valyard scoring for a newborn assessment. Now for this assessment, um, I would just be given a brief explanation regarding the assessment that we're going to demonstrate. Um, the Valyard score is commonly used um, to determine a newborn's gestational age. Um, it is based on the neonate's physical maturity and neuromuscular maturity and it can be used up to four days after birth. Um, may I add that the neuromuscular components are more consistent over time um, because the physical um, components mature um, much quickly after birth. Okay, so um, now to continue with the assessment, um, I would be assessing the Bollard scoring by using two categories, which is the physical maturity and the neuromuscular maturity um, assessment. Before we assess our um, our patient, the baby, uh, we must brief the parents um, regarding the assessment so that they have um, um, knowledge regarding what we're about to perform to their baby. Um, a neuromuscular assessment um, components are um, assessment of the posture, um, square window, which is the flexibility of the wrist, um, arm recoil, um, puppet heel angle, scarf side, and the heel to ear assessment. As for the physical uh, maturity assessment, um, its components for assessment is the skin texture, lanugo or hair, um, the plantar surface creases, um, the eye opening and ear cartilage, and the genitalia. Now for this assessment, I would be needing um, materials as well. Um, first is my chart, um, paper to write on notes, my pen, my face mask, and clean gloves. Now on to the demonstration. Now that we're done performing hand hygiene, now we're going to perform gloving. For this um, procedure, I would be using this teddy bear as my um, subject. Now, before we start, we first, of course, have to follow protocol and ensure um, the identity of the patient. Okay, we look for the name tag, which is Ayla Bernardino, November 26, 2021. Okay, now that that is done, um, we, should, we have to ensure also um, for patient privacy and that we make sure that we already um, performed hand hygiene and proper gloving. Now on to the assessment. We first have to perform the neuromuscular um, maturity assessment. Um, we have to first assess the posture of the baby, um, if it is well flexed, um, because extensive extremities um, is an indication of prematurity. Now we have to check. Okay. For the next assessment, we have to assess the square window, which assesses the flexibility um, of the wrist. Um, the wrist of a newborn should be um, bended up to the baby's arm like this. Next, we have to assess the arm recoil of the baby. Um, we have to assess the flexor tone of biceps muscle. Um, if I pull the baby's arm, um, it should be extended and when I let go, it should recoil back to the baby's body. Like that. When I pull and I let go, it would go back to the baby's body. Back. Okay, another one is the popliteal angle. It assesses um, the maturation of pressure tone about knee joints by testing for resistance to extension of lower um, extremities. So I'm just going to do this. This is the knee. Put it back. Okay, next is the scarf sign, which measures the elbow's positive flexor when doing scarf sign of mature baby. May I add that um, the healthcare provider um, conducting the assessment should meet resistance. Okay. I'm meeting resistance. Last is the heel to ear assessment, um, which assesses the hip flexibility and implants in bending the knee of the baby, just like in the scarf sign. From the heel to ear. Like that. The neuromuscular assessment, um, the information gathered should be recorded in the modern scoring chart. Now for the physical maturity assessment, um, we should be able to assess the skin. Um, the skin should be sticky and transparent 
Um, while in mature babies, skin is thicker than a post-mature baby and has leathery and wrinkled um, skin texture. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we assess for the skin. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, next is the noodle, which is fun here, found very little on mature babies while in premature babies, lanugo is abundant and an extremely premature baby, there is no lanugo um, observed at all. Okay, now check for hair. Okay. Next is assessing the plantar surface creases of the baby. Um, we have to assess the um, um, sole of the baby for any creases. Okay, next we have to assess the breast tissue of the baby. We have to observe a 5 to 10 millimeter areola present in the baby. Okay? Okay. Now, in assessing the eyes and ears of the baby, the eyes should be opened easily and the infant's ear should um, recoil back after um, putting pressure on it. Like this. There's recoil. Okay? For the eyes, it should um, open, be opened easily. Lastly, in assessing the genitalia, in the male um, infant, um, we have to assess um, the, and observe for a fundulus scrotum and little wrinkles on the testicles. While in a mature female baby, um, the clitoris should not be prominent and should be covered by the labia majoria, majora, and the labia minor. Okay, now we check for that. Okay, so after the assessment of the physical maturity assessment, we have to document and record all the findings in the modern scoring chart. Now that will be all for this demonstration. Thank you for watching.